What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you four progressions, how to improve the forehand. Progression number one. Player starts close to the net, hitting back to the feeder or in a very small, close to close rally position. In terms of preparation, they start in a semi-open stance with a racket immediately behind contact point. In terms of the hitting process, contact point at hip height, out to the racket side of the body and in front of the front foot. Racket face, wrist height, arm slightly bent, pushing forwards from the start position, no follow through. A couple of key words to use here is to push or tap the ball back. Short, simple, effective. Just getting the player to really focus on the contact point. Progression number two. Very similar to progression number one, but the player is now starting to rotate their hips. And we can see that by the tip stance. So if you look at the back hip, as the player pushes forward towards the ball, they will rotate their back hip towards the ball at the same time, showing good coordination, but finishing in a tip stance. Tip stance, very popular with golfers, and you can see they transfer their weight from the back foot to the front foot, and by rotating the back hip, they are now starting to use their body to help push the ball over. Progression number three. The player now starts in a ready position with a forehand grip, and they will be towards the back of the court. In terms of preparation, we now start to see the split step, much early preparation by the unit turn, and the player starts to open up the hip and shoulders at the same time. Through the hitting process, the contact point is at hip height to the racket side of the body and in front of the front foot. Racket face at wrist height on contact point, arm slightly bent, and they start step forwards and hit. Trunk turns forwards towards the net through the hip. We now have a follow through. The player should follow through in the same direction as the stroke and at eye level. Finishing in a tip stance with good balance. A key word to use here is to guide the racket towards the target. And finally, progression number four. Again, rare position at the back of the court. The player now should be able to hit to different targets. In terms of preparation, a very good split step, a unit turn to start the side movement, a compact preparation, getting their foot behind the ball, turning the trunk until they face the stroke direction. Into the hitting zone, the player will now step in the stroke direction to initialize the hitting phase. They will also now start to speed up the racket towards contact point, arm still slightly bent at contact in a nice comfortable hitting position, and the contact point should be a hip height to racket side and in front of the body. The follow through, again, guiding towards the stroke direction, finishing at eye level in that tip stance and a good balance. Key words to use here is hold the finish and swing through the ball. The key takeaway from this video is really simple technique. Preparation is really simple, nice simple follow through. Too often do I see coaches get the players to take really big shapes, really big take backs, big loops, big follow throughs. But the truth of the matter is, at this stage, the players haven't got the physicality or the coordination to be able to perform those actions. If you have found value in this video, please do me a huge favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And please leave down in the comments what my next video should be. Until next time, I'll see you on court soon.